A community-led push to get a man out of the Dane County Jail worked today. Katwan Richardson out on bond thanks to funds from local community groups hours after a judge agreed to reduce bail from $16,000 to $11,000. Police arrested Richardson earlier this month after a struggle that led to one officer incidentally shooting another. They say they spotted Richardson out on State Street past the 10 p.m. curfew, chased him then before the arrest. In court today, a Madison officer testified that Richardson was carrying a gun himself and pointed it at police while they wrestled with him. It took a Department of Justice investigation to reveal that Richardson did not shoot shoot the officer. Richardson's attorney says groups like Freedom Inc. who rallied for Richardson's release yesterday made a big difference. And that's a good thing to have that in our community. And when I say our community, I mean those folks, white, black, or brown, who are indigent and who can't afford a large amounts of bail simply because of their economic status. And I say whatever color they are. So when I say our community, that's what I mean by that. Richardson faces five felonies in the case. His attorney says he doesn't defend Richardson's decisions. He just wants to get the truth out there. And prosecutors said in court today there could be other charges introduced in Richardson's case. An officer alleged in cross-examination he believed Richardson's gun did go off. Officers say they didn't know he had a gun at first. They were going after him because he was breaking his bail curfew, as Naomi Coles explains. Naomi? Yeah, this case is in the spotlight because it involves one officer shooting another officer. But the story is, it's also a story of how people enter and stay in the criminal justice system. And that's if you go all the way back to how his arrest began. Free k and defund the police. For 19-year-old k Richardson, a life-altering night on a crowded state street. It was busier than one of our normal nights. But he was in a crowded space at night with a loaded firearm that he pointed at officers as he tried to flee um, from an officer trying to make contact with him. This is his ninth open case at this point in time. If you go back to the beginning, court documents say this arrest started because a sergeant saw Richardson on surveillance cameras. He sent officers because Richardson was out when his bail conditions said he shouldn't be. In some states, bail jumping is only a crime if you don't appear in court for a hearing since the point of bond is supposed to be to make sure you answer to criminal charges against you. But in our state, bail jumping can be used much more broadly. Bail jumping lands people back in jail a lot. A Wisconsin Law Review analysis found it was the most charged crime in the state in 2016. Interestingly, not only is bail jumping the most charged crime in the state of Wisconsin, it's the most dismissed crime in the state of Wisconsin. And the fact that it has that dual status tells us a lot about the ways in which it is used here. Those conditions, UW Law Professor Cecilia Klingel says, are usually for non-criminal things, like for Katwan being home by 10 o'clock. And if you're facing felony charges, doing those things becomes a new felony. It's a pretty powerful tool in the prosecutor's toolkit. And often we will see multiple counts of bail jumping charged along with new criminal uh, conduct that's charged. Now, Freedom Inc. raising money to get him out of jail is thanks in part after there was a lot of uh, information coming out after initial confusion about who shot the officer following an initially vague press release. Now, you can join me on for the record this Sunday for the full conversation about bail jumping charges and the role they play in Wisconsin's criminal justice system.